I had missed a part that I really want to speak on. Um, I forgot, so I'm gonna put it now. But um, when he when he had spoke to me, I had set up on my elbow and I looked around the dorm. It was rack time. Everybody sleep. I'm like, man, nobody heard that, huh? Um, just sitting on my elbow. And I just contemplating that. I'm like, wow, I just heard that. You know, woke me up out of my sleep. And he spoke. Um, we got a living God. We got a very alive ooh, God. Ooh. Also, I forgot to mention that uh, where that verse came from, that second one. Where it says, Beloved, thinking not strange. That's First Peter, uh, chapter four, verse twelve. <clears throat> and here's another a verse. Um, it's in First Corinthians, some First Corinthians, First or Second Corinthians. But it says, uh, God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So. Not only does he give you tests because he wants to see you pass and he wants to graduate you, but um, he's faithful not to allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. In other words, whatever you're going through, obviously you must be strong enough to go through it. He has his hand on you. And... You will be okay. Just keep the faith. Pray through it. Worship through it. As hard as that can be, you just do it. You do it. You do it. And you win. You graduate. You, you, from faith to faith, from glory to glory. That's the way things work. That's the way things work. That's the way things work. Y'all be blessed.